Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your fine beautiful faces, I hope you're well. Welcome to another GTA 5 video, Finance of Felony, the Bravado Rumpo Custom. Oh my god, so it's probably the cheapest car that you can actually buy within this DLC. And I'm hoping that we can actually customize it and upgrade it. Now just looking at it, it is extremely customized, so I'm hoping we can change quite a fair bit on it. But... The legendary motors have really let me down. So we got four new legendary motors cars and well, none of those can actually be upgraded. So this one is one of the South uh, San Andreas uh, cars. The Southern San Andreas is it, I do believe. And well, yes, yeah, Southern San Andreas. And well, I hope to God we can freaking upgrade it. I mean, it comes in at 130,000, so that's pretty cheap. And I mean, it looks like an absolute beast straight off the bat before we even do anything with it. And well, if you then go and look at the legendary motors, so these cars here, you literally can't upgrade them. You can change a couple of things on the top three, but this bad boy here, the Benefactor, you can't even upgrade at all. The, you can just upgrade its engine. You can't change anything about its looks. Now this looks like an absolute beast, and I can't wait to get it up in the mountains and get it up in the Rockies and just absolutely rag it. Or better yet, get it on the beach and absolutely rag it. Now I like the suspension that you can see just underneath it when we're going down. And it is so freaking huge compared to all the others. Like, seriously, this car is an absolute beast. Like, look at the size of it. Like, oh my god. I'll tell you what, the wheels are too small for this car, in my opinion. Like, the wheel on the roof looks ten times bigger than the actual wheels on the car. Like, how does that make sense? But, as I usually say, I don't do anything technical. I don't go into specifics with a car. I don't say this car is better than this car or faster than that car. I literally get in the car, buy it, take it to the garage and upgrade it because, well, like most of you guys, if you're watching this, you just want to see what it looks like fully upgraded. And, well, to be fair, so do I. I love seeing how a game can change a car, what pretty much, and what we can do with it. Like, look at the size of it. This thing is an absolute freaking monster. Now, for the love of God, please let me be able to upgrade it. And uh, so far, we can't see anything. There is literally nothing that we can upgrade. Nope, so we can't change the bumpers, we can't change the hood, we can't change the roof, we can't do anything. Wow. So just like the Benefactor XLS, we cannot change anything about the car at all. I mean, we can lower the suspension. That's not too bad. Transmission, alright. Turbo, yes. Wheels, uh, well, the wheels are kind of... Uh, the wheels kind of go with the car. The only thing is, they don't look big enough, in my opinion. No, wrong button. And, you know what, should we try and see if we can actually put some decent wheels on? I mean, look, it doesn't change the wheels at all, it just literally changes the alloy. And that kind of sucks, man, that's not really what I want. Um, yeah, th this is not what I wanted at all. Again, I am extremely disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Like, how can we not change anything about the car? Like, we can change, alright, so we can change the windows, we can change, um... Suspension, transmission, and all that stuff like you normally would on any other of the cars. Brakes, yes. I mean, it's just... How can they put cars in the game like this and you can't actually do anything with it? Seriously. I mean, what does it look like if we respray it, say, in matte? A random matte colour, what does it look like? You know what, I'm going to go for the lime green, just because I can. I mean, this is so disappointing that we get all these cars that cost a decent amount of cash... I mean, and we can't even upgrade a single one of them in terms of customization at all. This is really, really disappointing, Rockstar. In my opinion, anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. But the fact that we just spent 130 grand on this car and all we can do is upgrade it. I mean, yeah, all right, it does kind of look decent without us changing anything about it. But still, I'd have liked some customization. I'd have liked some exhaust. I'd have liked some bumpers. I'd have liked some hood vents, you know? I'd maybe even like to have changed the roof a little bit. Maybe get some luggage up on there. Get it like a full-on freaking... Oh, I don't even know. But Oh my god. As you can tell, yet again, I'm very disappointed. And I imagine you guys are disappointed as well. Because, well, this just sucks. Why add a game to a freaking game? Because oh, this just sucks. Why add a car to a freaking game that we can't even upgrade? And the whole idea of GTA Online is being able to customize and do whatever the hell we want. Like, seriously. God damn it. Fucking hell, Rockstar. Guys, I'll see you later. I'm super annoyed. And, well, yeah. GG, Rockstar. Thank you for checking out this video. If you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in another video.